uh, independent document. But what I want to do is, again, across the top, only this time I want to say um, layout, and I'm going to say create guides. Okay, and that opens this box, and this is where we build our modular grid. I'm going to show you how to build it, and then I'm going to show you how to use it. So in the number of rows here, I'm just going to make sure I have my preview box on so you guys can see what happens. But we'll go, okay, see, now there's two rows. There's three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to go seven rows, okay? And then I think that's too big, that space between those rows, which is called a gutter. That's too big. So I'm going to bring that down to 0 0.9. I'm sorry, 7, 0 0.7. And those are actually maybe even 0 0.5. Okay, so good. All right, now so I have seven rows. All right, and now I'm going to do my column. So let's jump right over here and I'll say, let's do nine columns. Now let's make it a modular seven by seven grid with the gutter of, of uh, okay, 0 0.5. Uh, and then I'm going to say, okay. I want, you to sh I want you to see something now. This page is now set up on a mathematical grid, meaning that if you abide by the rules of the mathematics within this grid, your page will ensure harmony, visual harmony. Even if your page isn't designed well, it's still going to be mathematically harmonious. Let me explain that to you, what I mean. Okay, so in our grid, I would go like this. Let's say I would say, I'm going to say right down there, and let me just, I want to see how I can zoom in here without, I know I can do it, but I want to make sure you see it on screen. So uh, let's go like this. So I'll just jump in here, and this right there is where I want to set up my first box okay so i'm gonna go to my text tool my type tool and i'm just gonna draw my first type box and i'm just gonna draw it like right there so it's within that particular playing area of the grid i'm going to command z that because i pulled it out too soon so there there and there okay so there's my text box now i can just go and i'm going to say type and i'm just going to say fill with placeholder text okay so there's my first Type box. Now, if I come up here and I do the same thing, let me go in and grab my type tool. And this time I'm going to come in here and I'm going to start right up here and I'm just going to come across to here. Okay, and I am going to say type fill with placeholder type. Only this time I'm going to select all of that stuff there. And I'm just going to bring that up to like something that would be a headline. Okay, so let's say, and, and I'm winging it, guys, here. I'm just going fast, so you, this is for a matter of demonstration. Okay, so there's my headline. Okay, so if I take that type box, I can even move that out of the way, and I can still use the remainder of that grid there. But let's just say I need a subhead, okay? I'm going to come right over here, and let's just jump in here and say, Type and, and I'm just filling with placeholder text, and then we'll format this to be the type size of maybe perhaps a subhead. Okay, so now we have that, and then let's say I have an image and I want to use an image. So let's go ahead and draw a placeholder box for an image. All right, let's go. Um, okay, let's just go like that. Let's go like that. Okay, there's an image. All right, now we need to add some more text, so I can come down here. This time I can go like this. And we'll take that to the end. And we'll say, we'll just continue that type. Okay, so, and then, of course, I see that's too close, so we'll move that down just a bit. And I'm going to just command zero that to get the full size. And I'm going to back off that a little bit, and you can see, now if I turn my, what did I want to do? Okay, so if I come over, I just want to show you what is going to. in my preview mode. So 
you can see now that there, this page is, is, I mean, I mean, like I said, I winged it, but this page is universally harmonious. Why? Because it's mathematically correct. Okay. Does that make sense? If not, you have to get with me so I can explain it. But by using that underlying grid ensures us the stability in our page that it, it's able to, to stand up to placement of images, type, large text, small text, subheads, and white space within that grid to, again, ensure harmony, okay? Hope that makes sense, guys. And now listen, I want you to take just, this is how you do it in, 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 in um, Adobe InDesign, and of course, as we know, and we're learning, there's 10 different ways to do the same thing in, in any Adobe product. That's awesome, that's great. So take what you know here, do some Google image searches, and it'll tell you how to do a grid in um, Photoshop and in, in Illustrator, which you both will absolutely be using grids in, in, in both. Okay. Um, thanks, guys. Any questions, give me a holler. Okay.